a good view of uh, that's very nice he thought about leaving to my right to his left um, no, to his right too. Uh, no, that's not to his left but he would be on the right circle anyway he thought about leaving and then he changed his mind he's a little bit messing around now he doesn't know how to pay attention 
too long, so I'm going to ask him to go the other way. No, wrong, that way. No, wrong, that's good. That's good, so she, you should be seeing what I'm seeing, just a little lower. So he's pulling on the halter, I don't like that. This is about the distance he should keep, either trotting and cantering, but he doesn't know yet how to give the pressure on the halter. And so he's dragging me. So what I'm doing is basically I'm sending him on the circle and then I'm making him yield his hindquarters to face me. He has to face me and that's uh, his rest. And then I'll send him the other way. Uh, if he does really good, I ask him to come towards me a few steps and then stop. Anyway, you will see. So I'm asking him to yield. Good boy. Come in a little bit. Okay, good boy. That's about the distance he can come in to the, my hula, to the end of my hula. Good boy. Now I'm asking him to go to the other side. Wrong side. He's making a mistake, which is okay. Everybody makes mistakes. Me too. He's more forward than he was before his shaving, which I expected. Good boy. Now I'm going to yield him. He does that quite well already. Good boy. Good boy. He's such a good boy. So he needs to wait. He needs to wait for me. And then we go the other way. Good boy. Now he starts to get it again. This is the side where he pulls the most. On his left side. All horses have a, a better side and a, a less good side. So it's good to work on the, the side they're not so good on a little more until it evens out. I'm walking with him and I keep my belly button faced, pointed to his ribcage basically, which is, we call that the drive line behind the drive line and that makes him move forward so as long as I do that as soon as I point my belly button in front of him he should stop see that's how he what he learned in the round pen this is not the stop that he should do but this was just to show you so as long as my belly button keeps pointed at his ribcage he should move forward that's why body language is very important. Where you stand, how you position yourself compared to the horse. I can love him, on him a little bit. But for now, I want him a little bit at the distance. So I'm pulling on his halter now and then to make him get off it. Because he's, he's pulling on me. I don't want him to pull on me. He needs to keep a little slack in the rope. Preferably a lot of slack. That will come with time when he knows. I'm going to point forward so he can speed up a little bit. Because he's like, this is a really slow jog. Come. That's better. A little more energy in the feet. That's why you see me point forward sometimes. He's really pulling on the halter right now. Hi boy. Hi boy. You're doing really good. You're doing really good. I suspect when I ask him to canter, he's losing his hairs. I suspect when I ask him to canter, he will drag me all over the place. The way he's pulling already. He really needs to learn how to do that. Okay, I'm going to back him up. Uh -uh. Back up. Back up. Good boy. I want him to leave with some uh, energy, like he did now, because that means that he will keep his energy on the circle, usually. As you can see, he's trotting with more energy now. Yield. Almost. Uh -uh. 
drift boy, that's better. Anyway, losing a horse is horrible. Uh, suddenly, it uh, made a huge impact in my life. And uh, I'm really not over that as we speak. But I'm doing my, my best to give it some kind of place. And Badger is helping me with that. He doesn't know this, of course. But a friend of mine told me that Karma sent Badger on my path to help me deal with the whole process. And uh, I mean, like, accept that I lost her. And I find that such a nice idea. It gives me peace of mind and I can move on. So I keep that, that idea, I keep that in my mind. And I try to remember that. Because Badger is a really, really nice horse. He's super cute. He has enough personality, which is important. I like a horse with personality. And with personality, I mean a horse that has his own mind and is a little bit naughty at times and doesn't always do exactly what I want. As a horse that does everything perfectly is, is, is too boring for me. It's too easy. Anyway, so Badger is all that and more. He has very good manners. So far I have had no incidents whatsoever with him. Kicking or biting or pushing me out of the way or anything like that. Things that Karma actually used to do in the beginning. So yes, in a way he's a perfect horse. Eh? For me. So this helps me tremendously.